Hi guys, welcome. I'm writing an article about the possibilities that Linux in general, not just Arch Linux or Arch Linux, but any Linux has to boot up with the Linux kernel, coming from Torvalds, kernel.org. Here's an image from the website. You can pass along commands, extras, to ensure that you boot up into something graphical and not a black screen. So use no mode set is probably one of the most things uh, you can find online. Add no mode set to the end of the kernel uh, boot up and you'll see hopefully uh, not a black screen, but something nice and beautiful. Now some of our Linux ISO friends and ourselves, we put in a line here, save graphics, no mode set. So in here we see already the command no mode set and a little bit more, but basically it says, it says look kernel, um, don't bother with it. We'll take care of it later on. And that's um, and so we hope that the kernel then finally keeps off and says, okay, you make sure that you boot from your Intel, Nvidia, RT card. So that's the BIOS thing. So then for the older computers, that's already available. In the UEFI, you have to do it yourself. We have here the line of Arch Linux when you have a newer computer system. You have this line and you can press an E and you can add parameters to the end. We'll just do it uh, together. But there are more things and I do hope um, you will give me some more input about the matter since none of my computers require this. So if you have other parameters that you say, I need to do this, I need to do that on my particular computer, we can add them and you'll see that maybe it's already down here. So I found, I've re found my link from, um, from Gen 2, so I had this project in July, August, and I, I wanted to study and to follow, basically to learn the wiki from Gen 2, to start from scratch and then build it up. And I found the link again, is ACPI is on, is off, and all these possible things I've seen. People type this in, no epic and so on. So all possibilities to pass to the kernel in order for you to boot up. That's the only thing, boot up. Some tips, the message and journal CTL um, to find out whatever's going wrong. And here we see the information of the video. And this video that I'm making is coming into this article as well. Because we've already made a video about this one. Use no mode set to avoid a black screen booting up Arch Linux. If you're watching this, it's you'll see that this is the bias um, option, not the EFI or the UEFI. So let's do that one together, so you'll see what's going on. For that, I have a virtual box. I have to tell virtual box, hey, we're not going to do the old way of booting. We're booting with enable EFI, special OSs only. Extended firmware interface, okay. All right. I have an ISO in there, and I boot up. So this is the not graphical. If there's no nice logo, you know you'll have the UFI and so it says so here. So I stop the counter by just moving around with my cursor so we can talk and then go to E. I have edited. Sometimes it's a tab, sometimes it's E. And with my right cursor, slowly and gradually, I move to wherever I want to go. Maybe it's no problem to put it in between there somewhere. But um, I suggest you just put it at the end, space, no mode set, or whatever you think you may need from your system. Now, if I boot up like this, it does mean no mode set. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, it always takes a little while. EFI is, is still, yeah, not beta, I suppose, but years ago it was beta and it took a very long while they've shortened already the boot up cycle but it's still longer than the bias so sit and wait for the thing to boot up now normally this is a 1920 on 1080 screen this is not what I like but of course I did tell the kernel to whatever don't look at it what did I get? 
I got a display of 1024 and 76. That's it. That's it. Right? If I do not say anything about no mode set, what we normally do, but we always do this for a reason, so editing our bias or our UFI, well, our grub uh, or our UFI is for a reason that we do it. Because something is wrong, because we have a black screen. So normally we just don't do anything. And then look at this. And then we get this resolution, which is a small, which is the normal 1920 on 1080, which is cool. And works in KVM, in QMU, in virtual machine, and it works everywhere. All right, display. This is what I want, this is what I need. So there you go, guys. If you are um, booting up with an UEFI, you know now what to do. Go edit those uh, Linux kernels, and that's that. Cheers.